Hi, this is Pastor Steve with an encouraging word. We're in ordinary time. That hasn't changed from yesterday. We talked about ordinary time needing maybe ordinary miracles, ordinary grace to help us each day. Sometimes we don't need the big things to happen. We just need the little things to happen. And the little things still need God's touch, God's presence, God's grace in our life. Think back to Daniel chapter 6. Do you know that chapter in the Bible? Daniel chapter 6 is the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel was one of the people taken in exile under Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar was replaced by Darius, king of the Mede and the Persians. Well, they made a law that for the next 30 days you couldn't worship any other god but the god of the Medes and the Persians. Well, Daniel, of course, worshipped the one true God. And when his faithfulness to God and his disobedience to the king came to light, well, Daniel was put in the lion's den. Now, remember the story that he was put in the lion's den and, and there was a miracle. God shut the mouths of those hungry lions. Not a single lion even nibbled or licked Daniel. It was a great miracle indeed. But in my life, I don't come across many lions, maybe a few stubborn cats or difficult dogs, but no lions or bears, tigers, oh my. But I still need ordinary grace. I still need ordinary miracles because my problem is not needing God to shut the mouths of lions, but sometimes for God to help me keep my mouth shut. Listen to a passage from the book of James, the third chapter. I'll be starting in verse 9. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men and women who have been made in God's image. Out of the same mouth comes forth praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. See, that's a problem I have. God's given me this mouth in which to praise him to offer words of encouragement, to bless others because I've been blessed. But sometimes I use this mouth to yell things at people, particularly bad drivers, or at least who I think is a bad driver. I say things that sometimes may not quite all be true. I say things that hurt people. I say things to express my opinion when my opinion is wrong or misguided or narrow. I need an ordinary miracle to keep my mouth in check. In fact, earlier James had talked about in that same passage that uh, the tongue's a little rudder that steals such a big ship. With our mouths, we indeed curse others or bless them. We praise God and we say bad things. So I need the ordinary grace, the ordinary miracle of learning how to control my tongue, when to keep my mouth shut, Especially when I'm thinking, I know I shouldn't say anything, and I probably shouldn't. And that's why I need that miracle, that ordinary miracle of not saying something, keeping that mouth shut, saving my words to talk about someone to God in prayer, rather than burdening them or attacking them or saying the things I know might go the wrong way. What about you? Do you need an ordinary miracle with your tongue as well? You need God's help to not maybe shut a lion's mouth, but maybe your own. I think about his brothers and sisters in Christ, and especially our witness to the world, what a difference it might make if we could control our tongue. And boy, we need grace for that. We need help. Because most of us haven't done too good a job so far. So I'd be lying if I said I didn't need God's help to control my tongue. I don't have a lot of pride. I can ask for God's help. And that ordinary grace, an ordinary miracle of helping me control that tongue, of shutting my mouth when it doesn't need to speak, and using my mouth to praise God and to bless others, to offer words of encouragement, words of blessing, words of prayer on their behalf. God can do that in my life, and well, maybe in yours too. That would be quite a miracle, wouldn't it? An ordinary miracle, ordinary people, during ordinary times. This is the word of encouragement today.
from Pastor Steve.